Hi everyone, this video is to explain why return loss always in positive value. The return loss in DB is equal to 10 DB and why for S11 is always negative value. Okay, so from here you can see always in VNA you will see the S11 in DB is negative value and why the return loss people talk about is positive value. Okay, this video will explain what, what is the difference between return loss and S11. You also can refer to this definition and misuse of return loss from this IEEE documents for better understanding about the return loss in Y in positive value. Next, Y in VNA, S11 DB always shown negative DB sign. So you can see from here from VNA, the marker here is showing like negative 18.90. The S11 at the Y axis is always shown in negative value. For S11, always below 0 dB. And in ADS as well, you will see the S11 is in negative value. So in CST, you also can see that the S11 is in negative value as well. Why the S11 is always showing negative? Next, so here is some information from Keysight help file. Okay, so you can see from here. Okay, so like why. S11 always show in negative and the return loss is show in positive because the S11 DB is not equal to return loss DB. Okay, I will explain why. And you can see the information here actually is from the health file from key side for the VNA. And here is like, let's say the example S11 is A divided with R1. Okay, so it's a S parameter S11. So A will be is the A measure the signal into VNA port 1. That means it's like they're measuring the signal out or reflecting of the DUT. Example, your DUT is antenna. Then the signal that reflected back to port 1 is the S11. So we know this one is the reflected voltage is equal to A. And here will be the incident voltage is equal to R1 because R1 is measure the signal out of port 1. That means out from the port 1, the signal as it leaves the analyzer source. So we assume that V incident is equal to 100% and V reflected is equal to 10%. And S11 is equal to 20 log voltage reflected divided with voltage incident. Okay, because it's voltage, that's why it's 20 log here. And next, we just place the 10% of the voltage reflected and the 100% of voltage incident. Then we will get negative 20 dB. Okay, so for return loss, you can observe here is like they have a negative sign here. That means you can compare with the S1 is without the negative sign. Because of return loss, they have the wording loss. That's why it have a negative sign here. Then we just place in the value for the voltage reflected and the voltage incident. Then we will get 20 log. Due to the return loss is with the wording loss. That's why everyone know that this 20 dB for return loss is a negative value because it's a loss. That's why we no need to indicate add on negative sign in front of the value of the db okay therefore the s11 db is not equal to return loss db because of they are just in the different sign of positive and negative that's why in vna you always will observe that s11 is in negative value okay next why antenna design focus on negative 10 db okay we always heard antenna design s11 db must achieve below negative 10 db Okay, so let's say we assume our power incident is 100% is equal to 1 when you divide with 100. Then let's say our S11 dB is equal to negative 20 dB. Okay, it's below than negative 10 dB. S11 dB equal to 10 log power reflect divided with power incident. Okay, so this one is power. That's why we use 10 log. Then negative 20 dB equal to 10 log. Reflected divided with power incident, and we just 
20 divided with the 10 here and we get the formula like this next to remove our log we have like 10 power of negative 20 divided with 10 then we get 0 0.01 and our power reflected is equal to 0 0.01 multiplied with power incident our power incident is 1 then we just put in 1 here then we can get our power reflected is equal to 0 0.01 okay so for power reflected in percent we can calculate is like 0 0.01 multiply with 100 percent you will get equal to one percent what does this mean this mean that let's say from a vna is the source we have put in the power incident to the antenna and from the antenna they have some reflected signal reflected back to the vna as the power reflect so our power reflect is one percent that means the balance of 99% power have traveled to the antenna here for radiation. That means, right, the lesser the power reflected to the VNA, that means the more power that have transmitted to the antenna or DUT. That's why the lower the S11 dB, the lower the power reflected. So you also can try to calculate the negative 10 dB you just substitute in here then you will know like how much the power reflected here and what is the balance of the power have traveled to the DUT or the antenna for radiation okay so I hope you understand why S01 is always in negative in dB and why always antenna design focus on negative 10 dB okay thank you guys that's all